Hello again. Today's lesson is getting your website linked with Facebook page. So, for instance, if you just look at this here, I've got CIS Consultants delivering you clients, helping your promotions. Please visit us at, and it's got my website link. Now, obviously, if you were to click that link, it'd take you direct through to my website. Now, also, I did um, a check on Marcus's site earlier, and it's still coming up that he's not got a Facebook page for his website, which he has. It's active. It's been active for a long time. So basically, it's not been registered or linked with his actual web page. So it's a really easy thing to do. And I'll show you how to get that in there. And basically, you need to edit edit page. So go to obviously to your Facebook page, edit page, edit settings. Once you've gone into settings, you need to click on page info. Uh, I did have my address in here, and my email address, and my phone number, but I took it out. Um, I didn't want anybody seeing this on YouTube to have them basically but um, we alright basically to get your um, website address in you just need to put it in there now to get in correctly rather than put alright I've got a website called www.joblog.com yeah um, you want to get the proper website address. Now to do that, let's take Marcus's site for instance. If you notice there, on his website, it just says driscoll.info. If you highlight that, so you can left click and just keep highlighting it, or you can highlight it like you would anything like that. Highlight it, right click it, copy it. Now if you notice that, it's got to give, not just the driscoll, it's going to put the HTTP in front of it. And that is your proper web address. That's the case for anything. So if I were to do a Twitter page, for instance, and I were wanting to put my Twitter page on something, and I like that, copy, and that will be the address that if anybody clicked that link, it would take you direct to that. So, um... That's what you need to do. So basically, if I were to hit save changes there, it has now linked my website to driscoll.info. Now, um, to get it in your actual description, you want to go to there, short description, click on edit. Uh, I'm not going to put save changes because I don't want to change this, but let's just say for Marcus's site. Uh, Please visit. Oops. Um, so he put something like window and door repairs in Wakefield. Please visit us at, and then he dropped that. Oh, not that one. Don't apologise. So don't forget you highlight it, right click. Copy at driscoll.info. Now, if I were to save that, basically that would work in a way where um, what I'm not going to do, but that would co come out like that. So you'd have just uh, window and door repairs, Wakefield, please visit, and then it would have his website on there. So you need to put it in that two places website. Short description, great thing about having it in short description, anyone who comes to your page can just click through and go direct to your actual website, like that. So that's pretty straightforward stuff. There you go, that's another video done.